What's up? How are you guys? We're gonna do a quick day of eating update as my meals have been kind of the same. We're just sitting down here for breakfast with the collagen pancakes. So we did a recipe on these like two weeks ago and we did a short yesterday on how to make them sourdough, which has a really nice flavor because you have the contrast of like the acidity of the sourdough and the sweetness and the sugar and the maple syrup. So everything here is organic. We go organic to remove as many pesticides and chemicals as possible, just make everything the highest quality. And these collagen pancakes are a balance of all the macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fats, as well as soluble fiber to help detox the liver. So we're kind of getting everything despite there not being a visible protein source here. The peeled organic apple is adding some more volume and gut motility because it's like, most fruits are very high water and they also have glucose and fructose, which helps give the liver more to detox because the body is very effective at utilizing all different types of nutrients to bind to toxins and expel them from the body. So that's the base of the meal. Collagen pancakes, apple, organic maple syrup, all this stuff is available on franklystrainfoods.com and the collagen broth I use is on the meat website. Uh, then for our supplement routine, we've been doing a lot of zinc, a lot of magnesium, some vitamin B1, molybdenum every meal too. And I'm taking some vitamin K2 today, calcium here and there with, with mineral water. I'm trying to figure out why my sleep's a little messed up. It's, it's a balance of those vitamins and minerals. Just have to pinpoint and figure out which one it is. And uh, we've also been taking mastic gum at the beginning and end of every meal. We have this in capsules on organ supplements, but I've been t buying the regular mastic and blitzing it up into powder, which I think is more effective. It's just like if you're on the go, you kind of have to use the capsules, but we do have this available on the website as well under the mastic gum. So I take half a teaspoon of this before the meal with the supplements and then after the meal, at the end of the meal, which is like antibacterial, anti-H pylori, also helps with the gut motility and keeping things moving. And I'll do two activated charcoal at the end of the meal to kind of soak all that toxic bile coming out uh, and, uh, and expel it in the body. Might, might even need three of these. I've uh, been messing around between one and two. It seems like two charcoal is definitely necessary at the end of the meal. But yeah, if you guys want to read about or learn about any of those supplements, they are on organsupplements.com. We got the glass bottle of mineral water here. I've uh, been messing up my water key for recipe at home, so I might have to bring some, uh, bring some back from the warehouse. Uh, and get back on the water key from water key for grades because I think that's what I'm missing. But uh, yeah, that's it for breakfast. Complete nutrition. I get to, you know, I like having, I don't like eating. I don't like eating in the morning. I'd rather just go down to work, but then I won't eat until 5 or 6 p.m. Plus, I get to take a lot more supplements in the morning because they tend to disrupt sleep if you take them later at night and you're trying to fix things like copper toxicity or nutrient imbalances you have to take the supplements at some point so the morning tends to be the best for that uh yeah i've been doing the glandulars on and off like yesterday i had some raw beef testicle uh just for testosterone i'll do that once or twice a week and um maybe some brains here and there too so not today we're not doing that today but you guys have probably seen it in my previous day of eating but we'll see you guys for lunch all right guys we are back for lunch at six o'clock <laughs> did a few hours of work had to make the sourdough bread so here we are with a messed up schedule my meal has been the same for the past week or two i have a protein source usually just grass-fed beef steak and some fresh sourdough bread big chunk of that with white bean puree basically just white beans mixed up with our demi-gloss few other things to make it taste better, some of the artichoke puree. But before we get into the meal, I'm excited because my new supplements just came in. Are the, are the birds in the back too loud? I mean, they're loud to me. I, maybe I should uh, close the window, but uh, we got calcium, which is brand new, something that I've had to take and increase my mineral water consumption since, you know, rebalancing my minerals and taking a lot of magnesium. So the calcium is brand new calcium carbonate. It's the naturally occurring form of calcium actually in the mineral water. Calcium carbonate. So that's kind of special because you can't really find that. I don't know why most supplements are like calcium citrate or lactate, which I'm not that much of a fan of. And we have capsule forms of the vitamin D and the vitamin K2, 
Uh, the vitamin D3 is the same, just regular vitamin D3. However, the K2, we now have a complex of MK4 and MK7. Uh, the previous supplement was only MK4, and also this is a much more controlled dosage. Uh, I will say that uh, I made a typo on the label for the K2, so um, if you guys order now, I'll just take a Sharpie and I'll fix it, but I'm going to, I mean... $400 mistake, you got to relabel all the bottles. So um, each of these is dosed correctly, like for what you would get from eating food in a meal, which is why I redid the D3 and K2. So for the D3, it's 1000 IU per capsule, serving size three capsules, 3000 IU. Most, most vitamin D supplements are way too high dosage. And my recommendation is just start with one or 2,000 IU per day, see how you feel, uh, which is possible with, with these, um, these gel capsules with coconut oil. So we use gelatin capsule with coconut MCT oil and then just vitamin D3. So it's the cleanest, highest quality vitamin D3 on the market at the safe dosage. No crazy crap like 10,000 IU per pill or something, which is, if anything, very dangerous. So I'm happy we have the vitamin D3 and the same with the K2. It's, it's a low safe dosage. Each capsule has 100 micrograms of MK4 and 10 micrograms of MK7. Uh, the typo is it says serving size three capsules, amount per serving like 100 MK4 and 10 MK7. It's supposed to be 300 of each. So it, it says on here what's in each capsule instead of each serving. So I'm gonna fix that. Uh, we'll, we'll relabel all of these. A uh, little disappointed that the label was messed up, but uh, all these numbers and everything can be confusing. But this is this is the same as the D3. You know, we have these, uh, you can't really see them, I guess. We have these gel capsules with coconut MCT oil. Excited about the quality and the price I'm able to offer this for you guys. So, you know, th this K2 liquid, it's a pretty crazy high dose and it's kind of hard to monitor, but this is nice because you just take like three of these and that's what you would get from, you know, having your vitamin K in a meal, which I like. Uh, and the reason we did, you know, serving size three capsules on each of these is because you can really go super low and, you know, kind of temper the dose in. So uh, you're very, very gentle with uh, what you're taking. So. We'll get the K2 labels fixed within a week or two, but for now, everything is available for sale on the website. Uh, the calcium is 100 milligrams per capsule, which is very low for calcium. This might be the lowest dose calcium that actually exists online, but like 100 milligrams of calcium is what you would get from drinking like a whole bottle of Mountain Valley mineral water. So I'm excited for these. I think I'll actually take a calcium, 100 milligram calcium with my... All sorts of weird noises, bro. My sink and my septic has been acting weird. What the fuck is that? Back it up. Yeah, bro, that's weird. My toilet's been, I don't know. Anyway, with all the rain and stuff over here, something to do with the water table, maybe. Uh, but something wise for this meal, I'm gonna take one of the calciums, which is 100 milligrams of calcium. We're gonna take some vitamin b1 two capsules of vitamin b1 the magnesium is 50 milligrams per capsule so we're going to take one magnesium molybdenum just one and the zinc we're going to take one that's going to be our supplements for the meal with half a teaspoon of masticum I mean, me talking about these supplements is going to make the video a lot longer than I planned on. And now I kind of want to just film this tomorrow with the new supplements. But uh, since the label's messed up on the K2, uh, we'll just chill for a bit. However, I will be taking these tomorrow. So moving forward, I'm going to have the control doses. I know I'm only going to take like one or 2,000 IUD3. I'm actually going to be able to comfortably take the K2 every meal because... Like the K2 liquid and like my multivitamin and multimineral, well, more the multivitamin, it's dosed to fix a deficiency, whereas these individual ones are dosed to take on a daily basis. So 
Hopefully that clears up any confusion. But the calcium is completely new. And when we get the probiotic in hopefully a week or two, then I'll, I'll really push and promote it. Uh, so our lunch is the carne asada steak. I'm trying it for the first time, so I'm excited. To, I'll actually try it instead of just explaining everything. But it's, it's way too much steak. It's way too much steak. This is a pound of meat. I really shouldn't eat all this. But you guys know the deal with getting the nutrition from the red meat, high quality, bioavailable protein, minerals, all that good stuff. Sourdough naturally fermented. It's just a clean, easily digestible source of starch and carbohydrates. I, I sleep the best when I eat sourdough. If I eat other stuff, I don't sometimes sleep that well. And the white bean puree is uh, the soluble fiber to help detox the liver. That's, that's really what this is. This is a, a tasty, delicious form of fiber that we dip our bread in. And I might do an updated recipe on this, and I should probably sell it to you guys, but we take the white cannellini beans, puree it with artichoke puree, and uh, add demi-glace and collagen broth. All these ingredients are on the foods and the meat website. The beans and the artichoke puree, the artichoke spread, are on the foods website. And then the demi-glace and the collagen broth are on the meat website. So really, really delicious way to get my fiber in. But this meal is more like broken down where you can physically see each component whereas the collagen pancakes had everything in them and you, you you see a pancake but it has protein fiber starch fat this it's easier to see okay he's getting his fat and protein from the steak he's getting his starch his caloric nutrition from the sourdough and then the fiber is the bean so this is kind of breaking down the components of the liver detox and then we have show you guys the supplement show you guys the masticum we got half of our apple left over from breakfast. Usually I eat more of it. Uh, I will show you guys. We got the, the jarred russet potatoes. I had these for lunch yesterday because I, I was a little low on sourdough. So what I did was I took some Iberico pork steaks. I sauteed them in the pan. And then I cooked the potatoes, just warmed them up in the Iberico fat. It was phenomenal. There wasn't even that much fat in the pan. It was really just the coconut oil with the Iberico pork flavor. But really delicious, really convenient. Some of you guys are complaining this was $11 a jar, but I spent like almost $7 per jar to get this made, guys. <laughs> like, you want me to go to $10 and Frankie's going to complain that he's always... I am already I already didn't want to sell it for $11. I probably wouldn't have done it, but um, I, I think I told you guys, we bought the potatoes to make potato chips, but when you, potatoes get refrigerated, you can't fry them anymore. It's messed up, so... We're still, we're still on the quest for potatoes for the potato chips, but now we have jarred potatoes. And we will have some more jarred products over the course of the summer I'm excited about. But let me stop yapping and try this carne asada steak. Because, dude, when I opened up the package, I was like, oh my god, this smells phenomenal. It smells delicious, too, after being cooked. Ton of flavor. Ton of flavor. You might actually have to add more salt to this. Maybe not. Bro, this is really delicious. I'm sure you guys are going to love this. I'm sure I can figure out the ratios of ingredients, but you taste everything. I taste black pepper, garlic, a little bit of cilantro. I taste the orange juice. I get the sweetness from the coconut aminos. This is why I cooked a pound of this. Because I know I can I know I can eat a pound of this. Still it's so delicious. You guys are I, I kinda wanna try my steak sauce on this, but it's not necessary. You don't need to overkill it with flavor. Very good, very good. I don't understand how I make some products that are so tasty and no girls have proposed to me yet. Like, to me, like I can't fathom. If someone sent me this and I tasted it, I would buy them a wedding ring. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm being overzealous of my culinary ability, but it's, it's very delicious. I'm happy that, um, this is now on the website. So under the skirt steak option, 
you can choose carne asada. It's like $2 more a pound. Unfortunately, our skirt steak source has increased their price. So I was thinking of a different steak I could do it with that's maybe a little more affordable. Bread's nice and fresh, just baked it. My new, uh, my new wiping puree recipe is very good. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, but I'll see you for dinner. All right, guys, it's time for dinner at a very unusual time, like four in the morning. I took a nap and got up at one and did some work. I told you guys earlier, my schedule's all messed up, but we got our big bowl of udon noodles. We put that white bean puree in here, which has the demi-gloss, a lot of flavor. And we also put some of uh, the Frankie steak sauce in here. I forgot to bring home some collagen broth, so I put some of the, the leftover carne asada steak from lunch in here, which is very delicious. I like it a lot. Uh, we're gonna do the same supplements for dinner. We're gonna do the zinc, molybdenum, magnesium, one, one capsule of each. Take uh, maybe three B1, and then we're gonna do the new calcium supplement. Normally I've been drinking the, the Mountain Valley, but we'll do the calcium now that we have it. And uh, we're gonna have half a teaspoon of mastic to start the meal. This is, as with all the other meals, a balance of protein, starch, and soluble fiber. Basically the ideal composition for liver detox. We have organic udon noodles, white beans, beef stock, steak, pretty, pretty simple. But uh, I've been doing this for dinner for I think a few years now, consistently. It's delicious, it tastes good, I feel good eating it, and usually sleep pretty good. But uh, that's gonna be it for the day of eating, guys. Oh, as usual, apples for dessert. We're gonna have uh, some of the jarred apples because I ran out of fresh apples. But if you guys go to frank-stefan.com, you'll see all of my interesting businesses where you can get a lot of the, well, if anything, every single thing you've seen me eat or use in this day of eating is available on one of the businesses on frank-stefan.com. Has my camera been going in and out of focus this whole time? Outside of that, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys for the next video. And as I showed you guys earlier, we got the vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and calcium capsules now available on organsupplements.com. I don't think the uh, probiotics gonna be here for uh, a few weeks. And even if it is, it's gonna be a totally different shipping. That's gonna be more expensive because it's refrigerated. Uh, so I'm not really too worried about that. Although we will fix the vitamin K2 label ASAP.